Hey, it's Nick, and I want to show you today how to find the value of a cell that's located diagonally uh, from the cell that you want. And I'm going to do this uh, using my Super Bowl Squares template. So first, though, um, we're going to be using the offset function. So let me show you quickly how to use the offset function. So let's say uh, I have this my name in cell B2. And we'll call this upper left. So let's say we want to get the value of the upper left left, lower left, upper right, lower right, okay, now let's, let's say let's put one, two, three, four in all the diagonal cells, okay, so we'll, we'll use the offset function, equal offset, and then reference, so we'll select the cell we want, which is my name. So rows, so we want to go one row, row up, so minus one, and then one column over, so to the left, minus one, hit enter, and there it is, returns one. So then to do uh, lower left, we'll, we put in, uh, oops, we want to keep the reference on my name. So now we want to go down one row instead of up one row. So we'll change that to positive one and so minus one. So there we have two. So then you can see the pattern to get the upper right. We want to go up. We want to go up one row. So minus one over to the right. So right is positive. Minus one one. And now change the last one to 1 1 so using the offset function we can get the values of the diagonal cells so let me show you an example of this if we go over to my uh, Super Bowl square spreadsheet um, so typically when you play you're only looking for one value but we had some people want to play uh, where not only does the, the person with the numbers that match the score win, but all four diagonal cells also win too. Um, so how do we do it? Well, first, um, st for standard play, we have this formula here. So say this is the score on the left column is zero. Score on the right column, um, top column is three. Um, so the way this formula works is it's saying, okay, first it looks at the score. If it's not empty then you go and proceed with the rest of the formula so this is the if, the if formula comes in so now it uses index and match to find the numbers so it's looking for zero up here so we're looking for zero and three so zero three and that's Kelly. Okay, and if I have my macro in here, so if I hit randomize, it makes the numbers random again. So, so once again, zero for quarter one, three, Kelly again. Um, so, the first challenge of finding the diagonal cells for this game is, okay, you can have a lower left and a lower right value, but there's no names in the upper column. Uh, so my s solution to this was actually adding hidden rows and columns that say no winner. So instead of giving a name, it will say there's no winner. And so just like before when we were using the offset function, I basically just use the same formula, but add the offset. So here's the formula here, where it's looking up these numbers in this row and column. So now I've added an offset function. So to get the upper left cell, we had offset minus one, minus one. So if we go over to zero, three, here's the winner, Kelly. So then over, Minus one, up one, no winner. Same, top right, so we go.
minus one, one, minus one row up, one row over, and we have no winner. But if we go down, we have Nick. If we go down one row and to the left one column, is my name. If we go the opposite way, we get the other name. So this is an example of how you can use the index and match to find a value in the table, and then you can use offset to find a value diagonally to that. So I mean, you could even change these. Let's say we have a number over here. So this would be over two, down two. So we could change this to over two, down two, and get five. So you could do the same thing over here if you wanted to. So this is you know, an example of using the, you know, I like to use helper columns when uh, things to get too complicated. Like you could probably use some kind of if then, or you could use a longer formula instead of making this hidden row or hidden column, but I think it's just easier to sometimes just add helper columns and then just hide them instead of having like a huge, long, unnecessarily complicated uh, formula. Um, so there you go. That is an example of how to use the offset function to find the value of a cell diagonal to another cell. Uh, I hope that helped. Um, you can download this template. Uh, I'll include the link in the description. And uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thanks.